All right. How's everyone doing tonight? Doing good. Hell yeah. So, uh, hot tip for everyone. Learned this on Twitter recently. Uh, you can actually get out of work now using Photoshop, right? This shit is crazy. What you do is you take a picture of your car and then you deflate one of the tires using a Photoshop tool and send the picture to your boss, right? So you get a few hours there. If you're expert level, what you do is you start sending in pictures of your spare tire with like bullet holes in it using the Photoshop tool and then you're out for the whole day and it's a little hard to explain why you have bullet holes in your tire, like your spare tire, but you know, you get out for the whole day. <laughs> I've been using this for comedy for a while now. What I do is I, I uh, have someone take pictures of me doing comedy, get everyone's smiling, laughing faces in there, but they weren't smiling and laughing when I was doing comedy, right? That's expert level Photoshop. So if anyone wants to be a comedian, just find someone who can do Photoshop. Like my, my boy can. Right? Uh, but really though, uh, it's tough doing comedy. And uh, you know what's crazy is when you sing in the shower, you always sound good, right? Like you always sound good, but where can you do comedy and always be funny? You know, your mom can only laugh at your jokes so long. So, I've been searching it out and trying to find that spot. And figured it out, give you all this secret. It's hanging out with homeless people, giving them cigarettes. They all laugh at your jokes. I mean, if you can give them, uh, if you can give them weed, you're like the next big thing, right? They love that shit. <laughs> uh, in fact, they, they all laughed even harder than you all just laughed at me. So, I'm still getting used to, you know, real people again. Uh, you know, uh, I've uh, been thinking about it though. I think we need to outlaw those Bluetooth headsets for people who aren't homeless, or who are homeless. Sorry. No, I'm fucking up my own joke. All right. So, <laughs> we need to outlaw these Bluetooth headsets for people who look like they're homeless. That's the thing. See, I was uh, hanging out with this person the other day, and this guy walks in a restaurant, and he looked homeless as fuck. He's talking to himself, but he had one of those Bluetooth headsets in. And then I'm the asshole who was like, look at this crazy fuck talking to himself. I hate that shit. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Um, so we have the uh, Colorado natives in the room. All right. A few of us. You know, I think we're a dying breed these days. Everyone, uh, like we're so rare, everyone thinks we like pop out of the womb with skis or snowboards on our feet or like dreadlocks and joints in our hand. <laughs> You know, just come out of the, the womb of the bomb, dabs, it's insane. Um, I've actually come up with this quality of life index for uh, Colorado cities, right? A lot of people moving into Colorado, they wanna know where they should move. So I'm using this uh, happiness index based upon the average number of teeth, right? <laughs> I mean, clearly this is affected a lot by, you know, the number of meth users in your area and how much meth they use. So in Denver, uh, 30, 30 average number of teeth out of 32. So you all know, it's 32 normally. Colorado Springs are at 28. Uh, Lublo is 22. <laughs> so we're getting there like avoid them, you know, but... Trinidad, oh God, it's four teeth. <laughs> and, and they have no dicks there either. <laughs> right? uh, that's actually where they do all the sex changes, so. Um, yeah, let's throw that in there. 
<laughs> I feel like that wasn't necessary, but it was. Uh, um, uh, so, I was just hanging out at this uh, chat room here earlier, right? And I met this crazy chick who had been there since noon, smoking cigars and drinking Paps Blue Ribbon, right? And so I, I approach her, and she's very good looking, and I, I uh, sit down with her. She invited me to sit down there, and uh, we start talking. And she tells me about how when she was doing mushrooms, she tripped and realized when she eats meat, she's killing something. She's eating death. And I was like, oh, fuck, this shit's fucking crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I've done mushrooms in my life, but I did not have that revelation, you know? It's like, I can appreciate vegetarians, but I don't know if I appreciate that. She just keeps talking and talking. And I was like, well, what do you feel about insects? And she's like, nope. You know, they're alive. And that's going to be the next big thing, just so you all know. We're going to be eating insects, right? She couldn't get behind that. She couldn't get behind eating plants. And I was like, you do know when you eat plants, you're killing them, right? <laughs> Didn't get it. So then she fucking ends the conversation. She's like, so you're a meat eater. I was like, yep. She's like, well, it was a nice song, you. <laughs> God damn. This is the world we come to. Actually, uh, one of my uh, colleagues, he just tried to give some hot dogs to homeless man. Homeless guy says, I don't eat pork. What the fuck? You know, like, what's going to come next? You, uh, you know, buy a guy a Coca-Cola because he's thirsty and he's going to be like, I'll may drink kombucha. Right? <laughs> like, uh, you, you try to give him anything and you're like, oh, I'm on a kale diet right now. Okay. Well, that's why you're fucking homeless, man. Jeez. Right. Um, so, my real name is not actually Automatica. It is, uh, it's Steven, spelled with a PH, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make that clear these days, because, you know, Steph Curry is killing it, and he has my exact same spelling. But he goes by Stefan. I've been called Stefan my whole life, and then I gotta explain that my parents are Christians and wanted me to go get stoned to death like Stephen from the Bible, <laughs> trying to turn people into Christians, and then I talked to him about their personal relationships with Jesus Christ, and it never goes well, you know? Um, <laughs> so I've left it. Um, and it actually took me a long time, but I actually discovered about the same time my parents did that my birthday is on 420, so there's another definition of getting stoned to death. <laughs> right? I don't mind taking that route. It may never happen, because no one's ever died from weed, but at least I'm fucking trying, you know? <laughs> Probably get a lot closer than me trying to convert people to Christianity and getting rocks thrown at me. <laughs> fucking hell, where am I gonna go? I, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know much about the world. I don't. Um, so i uh been uh, checking out politics for a while now. Anyone ever see that tea party thing that showed up a while back? Like Sarah Palin days. We don't have any tea party people in here, do we? Okay. So, <laughs> These are the people, like, they actually had children hold their protest signs because they're afraid to hold them themselves. They had to have children hold them. And, you know, I actually just experienced this uh, effect recently. I was walking into a King Supers, and this little girl tried to make me donate money to something. And I was like, oh, God, like, now I feel like a real asshole because I'm turning down a child. <laughs> But, yeah, moving on. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't want y'all thinking I'm a terrible person because I told this girl to, you know, I don't care about people. But. Anyways, uh, on the other side, we have the, uh, the 
liberal offshoot, which is the coffee party, right? These are people who just hang out in coffee shops, talk about volunteering that they never do, right? So I'm like, where do I go? I want to join a cool political party. So I'm trying to start when it's called the party party, right? We just get fucked up. You hate politics, you know? It's pretty universal. Works out okay. Our major solution is uh, fighting for the third constitutional convention where we lock in the senators and congressmen on Capitol Hill. We'll give them a few of those briefcases from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. <laughs> and we tell them uh, no one gets out of this room until all the drugs are gone. <laughs> all right? Because I don't know if any, yeah. any of you have ever been to a party, but normally at the end of the party, everyone is friends with each other. That's right. You know, maybe there's a scuffle here and there, but everyone's normally hugging by the end of the night. <laughs> That's how we solve our problems. Um, yeah. My other idea is putting bouncers everywhere, create a lot of jobs, you know. This one's a little fringe, but you know, like we could have had a bouncer here tonight. Maybe one or two of us wouldn't have made it in. But our night would have been better if we would have given a guy a job. Right? <laughs> we could have these people everywhere, you know. Coles. Fucking <laughs> pay less shoes. <laughs> they know who should be in there and who shouldn't. Right? We need to rely on the bouncers. They do pretty well with nightclubs, usually. <laughs> all right, well, uh, thank you all. Uh, my name is Automatica. Hope you all have a lovely night.